Hey y'all, so it's been requested that I show how I create my video intro for my YouTube videos. As you guys are gonna see, I am a very creative person and it's a lot of moving parts. I don't just use one editor. It's a lot of different apps that I use together. So right now I am on photo grid and I wanna choose the first photo that I want to have in my um, video, my intro video. So I'm just gonna select a photo that I would like to use. And then I am going to change the background color to a color that I would like. It could be any color. And then I'm going to change the layout so that it can have the photo looking layout. If you guys understand what I mean, I always delete the photo grid um, copyright. They give you that option to delete it. So there's nothing against deleting it. I mean, if they wanted us to pay for <laughs> their watermark, they would have had a price. They would have never allowed us to exit that out. But right now, I think I want to change my background color again, maybe to something more pink or because, you know, pink is kind of my theme. <laughs> so I'm just going to play around with my background color and then I'm going to add a border around the photo to give it more of a, a Polaroid picture type of look. And then after that, I'm pretty much just going to save the picture because that's going to be the first picture. All right, so I'm gonna exit out of there and I'm gonna choose the second photo that I would like to use in my intro video. Sorry y'all for the background noise. I'm kind of outside while I'm recording this video as always. Um, but I'm just gonna find a second image that I would like to use and I'm gonna take away that original image that I picked. All right, so I have my second image. And I'm pretty much going to do the same exact thing that I did before. Going to choose the Polaroid picture layout. And for my background, instead of choosing a... It's so loud out here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So for the background, instead of using the color, I'm going to select a picture for my background. And the picture I'm going to select for my background is the previous picture that we just saved. Okay. That way it can overlay on top perfectly. So I'm just going to position, reposition that picture to get it where I would like for it to be. I'm going to add a border on that picture and then I am going to save. I am going to save this photo just like I did the last one and then I'm just going to repeat the same exact step for the third photo. All right, so now that we have all three of those photos saved, I'm going to go over to Movie Maker. So iMovie on your phone. If you have an iPhone, you have iMovie. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to select all three of those photos. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to scroll all the way to the front and I'm going to disable all of the videos. That way they don't move and they stay in place. And after I pretty much disable the videos, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, I think I was trying to make sure I was still recording. Okay, so after I disable the videos, I pretty much trim them down. I want them to be, I don't want them to be very long. Like, I just want each slide to be like a second long. So I'm trimming them down and right now, because there are different images, I wanna make sure they match up. So when you go from one slide to the next, is kind of like gradual like I'm adding an extra photo onto each slide even it's gonna be hard to light them up so you just got to keep doing it until where you feel like okay you light them up perfectly Okay, so after I have lined up and trimmed each slide, now I'm gonna change the transition 
um, to none because I don't want it to have like that blended or faded in transition. I want it to be directly like one after the other and then I'm just gonna trim it down. That way they both kind of like, that way each one flicks up on the screen right away if that makes sense. Um, and pretty much after I'm done with that, I'm gonna save the video. That way I can go to the next step in the process. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up the Vont app. This is a very good app for adding um, text onto your videos to make your text look like really pretty and colorful and all that other good stuff. So you're gonna open up the app, you're gonna choose the video that you just made. And then pretty much you wanna go to the part of the video where you want to add your text and then you're just going to click on the actual video screen and then it's going to allow you to add text. You're going to type in the text that you want and then you're able to change the font, change the color, change the size. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. All right, so now that you have that added, you're pretty much just gonna save this video. Then we're gonna move on to the next step of the process. So after that is saved, um, we actually want to add the graphic or like the animated effect to the video. So I use Video FX app. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it on an Android phone, but I do know they have it available on an iPhone. Um, to be completely honest, if you're watching this video, I do not know of any Android apps. I'm using an Apple phone, so I can't really give you any advice on what apps you can use for your Android. But pretty much right now, I'm just going to click on that last video that I saved from using the previous app, Vine. And then once it's loaded, we're just going to add the effect onto the video. So to add the, the effect onto the video, you want to go to the portion of the video that you want the effect to be added to. And then at the bottom, so at the bottom, we're going to click on the video FX um, button at the bottom. And then you're just going to download the um, effects that you want to add. I couldn't remember if it was in the Okay, can't remember if it was an explosion <laughs> or a spell or a spell. Um, so playing around with it. <laughs> okay, so playing around with it, I realized it is a spell. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to add it to the um, end of the video where my name actually appears. That way it can give like an effect. So once my name pops up on the screen, it's like a the spell comes. So after that is saved, you want to open that video up in iMovie. Yes, so we're gonna open up iMovie again. We're gonna use the most recent video. And what I'm gonna do with iMovie, <laughs> now you're probably not supposed to do this, um, but I'm gonna zoom in because I don't like to have that. All right, so. I'm going to zoom in because I don't like to have that watermark. <laughs> and um, pretty much what's left is adding an actual music to your um, to your intro video. Now, my intro video, I use Trina the baddest. So <laughs> pretty much what you want to do, you want to go to YouTube and you can just screen record any video. Um, that way you can have that song downloaded to your phone. The only thing I will say when it comes to YouTube, you definitely have to be careful because you because you cannot get paid on YouTube if you are using someone else's copyrighted music. 
um, I think it's like a rule of thumb that you can only use five seconds um, of someone else's copyrighted music so that you can get away with it, kind of, sort of. <laughs> so pretty much to add this to the iMovie, you're going to select the, the screen recording that you use and you're going to click on that music button to add it. Yeah.